we didn't see Bowser at all because I didn't play as Bowser, but eh, you'll be able to play as Bowser if you want to. Um, I forgot to mention how all the characters are unlocked in this game. You know, all the secret characters are unlocked in this game. Um, I'll, I'll look it up later because I even forgot how, I mean, which characters were unlocked, or I mean, how they got unlocked in this game. So I'll look it up later and then explain it later. But for now, let's just enjoy the credits with Boo there. He's just flying around there. And so is Shadow Mario. You know, that's kind of weird. Shadow Mario is actually um, from Super Mario Sunshine at this point. You know, this game came after Super Mario Sunshine, but, but before Super Mario Galaxy. So, in reality, a Shadow Mario is actually Bowser Jr., if you remember that from Super Mario Sunshine. Shadow Mario shouldn't be another character, but it is. It's just kind of like Metal Mario in the uh, original Mario Golf. Um, but only until it became Super Mario Galaxy, where Shadow Mario became a totally separate character. Yes, copyrights of game scenario and program, all of with Camelot Nintendo, oh yes. I did not make the game, I just made the walkthrough for it to help you guys out and to entertain. Oh yeah. I have fair use rights through commentary, baby. Feel the power. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's actually how people can do walkthroughs on YouTube. Uh, by a, being able to show copyrighted material on YouTube like this. Is um, through fair use, through commentary and educational value. So that's it for Bowser's Badlands, and now I guess I got one more course left to do, which is known as Congo Canopy, the king of all pitch and putt courses, and I'm going to finish this with regular Mario. Yes, not Star Mario, but regular Mario here. Um, I'm just going to do a stroke play, because it's not available in um, uh, tournament play, so you go to Congo Canopy after you unlock that. You unlock Con Congo Canopy by playing the side games. I remember this right here, by doing the one-on-one -on -one putt challenge here. Um, and then you unlock the Congo Canopy course nine holes at a time by perfecting it. Uh, by getting all one-ons and one putts. Spring shots don't count. Um, I have to play at the front tees. I'm going to switch to tournament greens. And let's just get this started. This is the king of all pitch and putt courses. It's a, it takes place in the treetops. This is epic. It's all short par three holes, but it is. this is actually one of my favorite courses in the game, despite it being so short because of how well detailed and the, the ambience of the course itself. Thank you, announcer dude, I know. It's, it's not that hard at all, but just, just the feel of this course just makes it so worthwhile to play to me. And another one is hole two. And look at this. It's it's a little it's a little wood plank type area set up, uh, nailed to the uh, tree branch, just like some sort of tree house. It's just like Donkey Kong's domain, so to speak. It truly captures the feel of Donkey Kong. Even the music does. I'll, I'll give you a good listen to the music uh, on the next hole. Um, yeah, there we go. And uh, tournament greens and regular greens don't seem to matter all that much in this course because of how short the holes are. Okay, let's listen to the music. Oh yeah, I am Tarzan. Well anyway, <laughs> let's continue on with the commentary here. And birdie it up. Woohoo! And next hole is going to be another par three. Would you have guessed that? Probably. Um, this is actually a pretty tricky hole if you have a character with a really high shot. Um, because you won't be able to get into this uh, alcove into the tree very easily. So you're gonna have to play it very carefully um, with a higher club and try and control your try and control the trajectory of the ball. I should say the landing of the ball with spin. Awesome. As I said, this course isn't really that hard, 
But to unlock the whole course, you've got to have some serious perfection. You have to birdie eight, each and every hole. Um, and if you make a mistake, you have to start all the way from the beginning, all over again. Isn't that fun? Uh, and the thing, the thing with this course is you can't even cheat it. Because, one, because you know, you're able to save and quit. Well, um, if you hit a shot and it goes off the green, whether it be on the fringe, the fairway, or whatever, on the one-on-one -on -one putt challenge, um, you won't be able to save. It, it'll just end the game right there. <laughs> you won't even be able to retry the hole. So there is no cheating this course whatsoever. you got to have pure skill to beat this course and unlock it completely. Um, I unlocked it completely. <laughs> Not to brag again, but I unlocked it completely. I had to unlock it. it, it this course was just too awesome to leave unlocked. Uh, it was actually starting to frustrate me trying to unlock this thing. Um, but I but I got it through many, many tries. And uh, afterwards, I was able to do it just about every time. Except this time wouldn't be it. Uh, because I just hit myself in the rough there. Um, I, and I was able to do it just about every time. You know, if I were to unlock this course, I could do it every time. But that was only with many, many hours of practice on this course. Um, just because I like playing this course. Birdies for the win. So far, I've birdied every hole. 